Hello and welcome back to The Daily Brew, the devotional where every day we drink a new brew of coffee and we see what God is brewing for us in the Bible. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's true. And you join me here in Edinburgh. I'm in a hotel. It is the day after speaking at the Junction Church. And man, I'm so excited to be able to see you if you're on YouTube. Otherwise, you're just doing the normal thing on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I'm so sorry about the last few days. We've had some technical issues. My hard drive has uh, has not played ball and all of the files, everything just gone. So we've had some technical difficulties, but we're here. We're now and we're getting into today's devotional day 213 of 365. Let's have a look at what scriptures we're going to be reading. They're in the descriptions on every platform. Psalm 89, verse 46 to 52. Romans 14, chapter uh, sorry, chapter 14, verse 19 to 15, uh, 23. And 1 Chronicles 11, chapter, one, uh, chapter 11, verse 1 to chapter 12, verse 22. So those are our scriptures for today. And I'm looking forward to getting into those in a moment because today I have some very exciting things to try. Well, one exciting thing to try, I have with me, I have a very exciting Iron Brew from 1901. So this is like, this isn't actually from 1901. This is a Scottish drink. It's a soft drink. Uh, but this is the old recipe. So this here is the old recipe that they've pulled out from 1901 and they've remade it. So today, I love Iron Brew. You can buy it in New Zealand uh, in supermarkets, some supermarkets here, you can buy it everywhere, obviously. This, though, is the 1901 recipe that I'm going to try for you today. Oh, I've shook it, so it's a little bit bubbly. I'm going to try this for you today, and I'm going to tell you whether or not this brew is as good as the new brew. Do you know what? It's a lot less sweet. It's actually nicer. It's actually nicer. It's like, it just, it tastes like a, a lightly sweetened water. If you, if you can, you've got to try this. Go to, go to Countdown in New Zealand or, you know, wherever you are in the world, try and find some Iron Brew in a British shop. Give it a try and uh, you'll see it's incredibly sweet. This is lovely though. This is lovely and nice and not sweet at all. I'll tell you how much sugar's in here though. This will bless your life. Sugars, uh, 11 grams of sugar. So there you go. That'll be good for your teeth. Just give them a brush after that. That is it, though, for the brews. Let's get into the Bible. I know it's a bit unorthodox, but let's let's roll with it, you know. Our psalm today is one full of questions. There seems to be a lot of negativity, despair, brokenness, and despondency all around. But then, in the last verse, in the middle of all of this pain and hope, there seems, there, there seems to be, sorry, in, in the middle of all this pain, there seems to be some hope. You see this, you see this phrase, praise be to the Lord forever. And what a statement. Out of context, this is a great statement of praise, but in context, it carries a lot more weight. Having hope in the midst of suffering and despair is a very hard thing to do. And it's something that if able to have can change the atmosphere in your life. Hope is not the ignorance of problems. In fact, hope is the ability to acknowledge problems exist, but to differ to do something better. So, to, sorry, to, to defer, to defer, not to differ, <laughs> to defer to something better, to look inside ourselves and find something that doesn't exist in what we see around us. The psalmist puts his hope not in the circumstances of the world around him, but in God. And many people today don't do this. Many people today put their hope in everything other than God. And this is a mistake. It's not wisdom. So the question I want to ask you today is, what is your hope in? Ultimately, if your hope isn't in God, then it's probably a, ref a reflection of the lack of faith or maybe even a, a, a problem that's happening in your life that's stopping you from being able to enter into the fullness of faith. It's potentially something that's blocking you from the activation of your faith is another way to put it. Faith means trusting in, God, in the God of hope. And Paul says today in Romans, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so in this verse, it's a major key. I'm going to break this down for you. May the God of hope fill you. That's the first part of this verse. And the question I want to ask you is, are you allowing the God of hope to fill you? Like, are you being filled on a daily basis? We need to drink from the well of God's love, his grace, mercy, and conviction every day so that we can be filled. The way that we're filled is by placing our trust in him with all joy. Okay, so this is the, this is, this is the next part, with all joy. 
So he, he, he wants to fill us with all joy. God's plan isn't just to give you a sensation of joy, but it's to fill you with all joy. And that's a pretty big statement. And all peace. So that all joy carries over to all peace too. And many Christians are not living in all peace. I wonder if it's because our hope isn't in God. And maybe we don't allow him to fill us properly. The next part of that scripture says, as you trust him. The question is, do you trust him? Like, do you really trust him? I think trusting in the Lord is a hard thing to do in the in reality. And it takes many days of effort. And really that effort goes into surrender. So that you may overflow with hope. That's the next bit. And I love this bit. Overflow with hope. God, if we allow him to, will fill us with all joy and all peace. And then we will overflow with hope. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And here we have it. It's all by the power of the Holy Spirit. Many Christians ignore the Holy Spirit because it's a little different and strange to the world that we live in, in the natural. And of course it is. It's the power of the Holy Spirit is out of this world. But God's desire is to fill you so that you can overflow. That's God's desire for you. This hope, this beautiful driving force of hope is found and placed in Christ alone. Jesus is coming back again to establish his kingdom forever. And when we read about the kings and kingdoms of the Old Testament, we read them with the faintest lens of of the foreshadowing of the return of the king. When Jesus returns, he will be infinitely better than any of the kings that we read about. For the writer of Chronicles, David was the ideal king. Just look look at how he wrote about David, particularly in chapter 11. Today we we read about David's mighty men. Listen. We cannot do great things alone. We need to both have and be mighty men in the kingdom. This counts for women as well. We need mighty men around us. Obviously, in any area of your life, who you have around you is incredibly important. You do more together than you can on your own, but you also need to be a mighty man for someone else, championing and empowering others. Friend, Jesus is coming back, and he's coming back for a church that's united, mighty, and strong. So, How can we be that within the church today? Ask yourself, answer, and let's activate it. Verse of the day. Verse of the day today, Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I know we focused on this a lot in the devotional, but I think it's one of the verses that carries so much power It's a major key for someone today. So I want to encourage you to follow the steps and watch as your life comes alive with hope. And that is it for The Daily Brew today. Thank you so much for joining me. No matter where you are for day 213, I'm here in Edinburgh, Scotland, and it has been a massive joy and blessing for me to be with you today. That is it, though, for today. Come back tomorrow. We're still going to be in Aberdeen. Then we're shooting down to Edinburgh uh, for a couple of days, and I'm looking forward to being there as well. Then we're back home in New Zealand in a very short amount of time this trip is going so fast looking forward to a good holiday over the next few days a massive thank you to everybody on spotify and apple podcasts for following along make sure if you haven't done so already to follow the podcast and rate it and to you on youtube it's nice to see you again thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you never miss a devotional upload that is it though for today have a great rest of your day grab yourself an iron brew If it's the start of your day, have a great rest of your day. Unless it's sleep time, good night, sleep tight. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for another day of The Daily Brew.